put ourselves in the shoes of a producer of textiles in country A. So we're trying to understand what is the economics of opening up to international trade. We have established before that the relative price, PS over PT, must be in between one half, which is the autarky level in country A, and 1.5, which is the autarky level in country B. Now, just by hypothesis, we say that our uh, international level of prices will be three quarters, which is uh, in between those two levels. Great, so let's pretend to be a producer of textiles in country A. We know that our opportunity cost of producing one more unit of textiles is actually two soybeans. Um, great, so basically each unit of textiles we, pro we produce in country A cost us two soybeans. Now though, um, let's look at what is uh, the uh, uh, price uh, that uh, we bring home in terms of soybeans uh, before and after we open up to trade. Well, before we were opening up to trade, for each unit of textiles that we were selling, we were bringing home uh, two soybeans. Um, and if we think about it, this is exactly consistent with uh, uh, the idea of making zero profit. For each unit we produce, uh, our opportunity cost was uh, two, and uh, we were bringing home uh, two, uh, in two, two soybeans in exchange on the market, making zero profits. Now, however, how much are we bringing home? It's not two anymore, it's four divided by three. So for each unit of textiles we produce, we bring home four divided by three units of uh, soybeans, which is more than one, but it's less than two. But however, our cost didn't change. When we have opened up to trade, we have changed the price that producers of textiles in country A receive, which again is four divided by three units of soybeans. However, the cost is still two units of soybeans. So we would be making an economic loss. Um, but nobody wants to make uh, a loss or nobody can make a loss. And so what is convenient for us is to quit the market, stop producing textiles and free some labor that can now be allocated to soybeans production. Uh, when will this stop? This will stop and up to the point at which uh, no textiles are produced anymore in our economy. Um, if we switch and consider uh, the um, situation of producers of soybeans in country B, the situation is very much the same. Um, for each unit of uh, uh, soybeans uh, that uh, they were producing, um, the producers in country B were making 1.5 units of textiles. Uh, and that was also their cost. However, now um, we are considering a situation in which producing one unit of soybean is going to give you only three quarters of a unit of textiles on the international markets. The, cost is, uh, the opportunity cost is unchanged, which means that for each unit of soybean that I produce, I'm paying 1.5 textiles, so again I have a loss. So in country B, producers of soybean will exit the market and uh, there will be some labor that is uh, available uh, to move towards the country in which country B has a comparative advantage, uh, which is textiles. Uh, this will stop only when no soybeans are produced in country B.